All right, so I want to talk about Marvel and DC lowering their prices to two ninety nine. Now at Marvel, pretty much everything was three ninety nine. Now at DC, they had a couple titles like Action Comics was three ninety nine, uh, First Wave was three ninety nine. Some some were actually four ninety nine when they did like the special, and they're both decided, hey, let's just lower the prices. Now I want to talk about this because I. Th- I'm really happy that they did this because there's some books I really have been wanting to try out. Like uh, the, I, I've been wanting to read the new Batman Beyond comic, but I can't because you know the titles I'm already picking up are freaking high, and um, my average, my on average, I spend about thirty, thirty on comics. Sometimes, sometimes if I'm really trying out new stuff, sometimes I spend fifty, and that's a lot for a comic for comics because, and that's mainly because the titles are so much. It's not even like I pick up like a big giant stack. It's just the titles are so much. Three ninety nine adds up, and two ninety nine. People might say, "Oh, that's that's still a lot," but it's it's a heck of a lot better than four dollars for a comic. I can tell you that right now, especially for. Your average comic, which consists of a certain amount of pages, and really, most of the time, I'm not trying to put this stuff down, but most of the time, it's not worth the cover price. Like that, uh, that X, that um, X Force, Sex and Violence, that I did, a, I did a review on that, um, like a couple of days ago. That really wasn't worth 3.99. In fact, that shouldn't have been made at all. They could have easily did that in the X Force book and called it a day. But anyway. Uh, I think a total that cost me that cost me like twelve bucks just for that, and it was only three issues long. I mean, imagine if it was three two ninety nine, that would have been a much uh, much more of a difference. So I'm really happy that Marvel and DC are doing this, and like I said, they're they're mainly doing this probably because of the digital comic stain is coming in with that iPad, which I'm a gig, which I'm not gonna be getting. At least not right now because I can't afford an iPad and I really just I like reading my comics in my hand. I like having the comics in my in my hand physically. Uh digital stuff is cool, don't get me wrong, it's very useful and all that, but um especially when finding old uh titles that just aren't in trade yet. But I just like having my comics on hand. So uh, good job Marvel and D C for lowering the prices. I'm really happy. I just wanna say thank you. Um, for doing that. Really appreciate it. I know they probably aren't going to listen to this video, but I do want to say thanks because it's going to be much better off. Um, and I think this is going to be starting next year, 2000, yeah, 2011. Link to this article will be at the bottom of this video as usual. Check it out, read it, and, um, rejoice.